Good morning, Joachim, and thank you for inviting me on this glorious October day in Malta. Um, and well done for your choice of, of place. Uh, behind me, we're seeing the Blue Grotto. It's in the southern part of the island. Um, my name is Kenneth, and um, my background comes from the financial services and insurance industry. And I'm also a freelance lecturer in Malta with, on a number of MBA programs with different schools in Malta. Yes. Well, Malta has become, has developed quite, quite recently in, in having international students coming here for doing a master's degree. Um, there are a couple of, of good names in UK universities which have set up a campus in Malta. And um, you can come here to study for a UK degree in Malta. I, I would say there aren't yet many, but um, it's, a, it's a sector which is evolving very quickly. Um, there are the students that come to study English, and if I'm not mistaken, Malta is the second largest center for studying English outside of, outside of England. And then something which is developing quite recently, you have these master's programs um, where people come to study and specialize, specialized programs always in the English language. Ah, that's, that's the nice part of it. Um, you would have a class teaching a master's, um, master's subject in marketing and in front of you would have people from Northern Africa, you would have people from South America, you would have people from Europe, some from Asia, which is, which is a nice blend. And that gives some value added as well to the course because you're getting experiences of different cultures all working together. Okay. I think, first, first of all, it's, they are good, solid programs, which will give them, which will give them, which will, will should be a lot of help for their future careers, um, because that's where the starting point starts. You have to get the theory, but then you apply it. Um, obviously, the the weather and the nice places in Malta that, that's another attraction. I would say as an experience, um, it's a very good experience when you look at it holistically. The country is small, so you can go all around the country in maybe half a day and so everything is within reach. There's everything here. Um, there's the fun part, there's the cultural part, there's the business part, which is, which is growing a lot in the recent years as well. Um, the UK, I think, still is one of the major, major most important brands when you're looking at tertiary education. Okay? The, the, some of the most important universities come from, from, the, from the UK. Um, having the English language, which is one, I would say, of the international languages, is an, another advantage that you would have. And um, it is something which is well known. Okay? The importance when, when studying for an MBA and investing your time in studying and developing further yourself is having a good brand, having having someone having someone who can give you good quality education yes there are there are some um there are quite a different sector so one would need to look which sector he would like to work in um there there, there are some opportunities for for an mba program i would say the the perfect or, or the best the best profile would be someone who has some work experience someone who is not very young so i would say the age bracket 20 plus, um, someone who, who who already has some some background. Yes, Malta um, has been changing a lot, and in these last years, um, momentum has grown a lot. You're see, we're seeing a lot of businesses coming to Malta, setting up shop here, um, bringing with them expertise in, in industries which were previously not not present on the island. Um, there is a very good attitude towards business let's come, let's grow, let's, let's work. If you look from a GDP perspective, um, tourism is still the most important part of, of our GDP. So anything related to tourism from hotels, guides, uh, rental cars, um, Airbnb apartments, which is a phenomenon of the last year, um, that is the, the most important one. Um, but then there are sectors like financial services and gaming, iGaming, which are growing a lot, and those are two very dynamic sectors. Then we have new sectors which are, which are coming up, such as artificial intelligence, blockchain, cryptocurrencies, medical marijuana. These, these are our sectors which are presently still small, but growing. And I forgot to mention as well aircraft maintenance is another area which is, yes, um, work hard enjoy yourself and ask a lot of questions. 